Four o'clock, Winston-Salem police is opening up about how they identified a suspect in the 2021 murder of T.R. Terry. We're also learning more about their efforts in solving other cold cases for families that are still searching for answers tonight. Joshua Davis joins us with why police say unity and collaboration were both key to solving this case. Winston-Salem police tell us the Tior Terry homicide case went cold in January of 2023 before opening again later that year. The victim's family tells us they never gave up hope. I am so grateful. My family is grateful. At a news conference Wednesday, Winston-Salem police detective Andrew Bowles gave a brief explanation of how police were able to connect Jaquan Fair to the 2021 Valentine's Day homicide of Tior Terry. I was able to gather additional information through interviews and other investigative leads that allowed me to put more pieces of the puzzle together, which led us to identifying the suspect. We knew of him the day that it happened. In an interview with WXII 12 News Monday after Fair's appearance in court, Tior's mother, Velma Terry, said she knew of a relationship between her son and the suspect. Wednesday, she had one message to the men and women in uniform who worked on the case. But I just cannot thank the Winston-Salem Police Department for just doing their job, for doing a, a heck of a job. Police Chief William Penn also opened up about WSPD's process for investigating cold cases. They're checking in with the family for updates. They're following up on any viable leads through Crime Stoppers or anything else we might have heard over the years. Um, we look at DNA testing or any new technology that may have come about since the case began. WSPD says from over the last nine years, they've solved a total of eight cold cases, with two detectives working full time on those investigations. In the effort to bring families closure, Penn says if you know something about a cold case, it's not too late to say something. We see the pain and suffering that is endured firsthand when our families lose a loved one, particularly to violent crime. So as a community, let's continue to work together to secure the hope and well-being of our community. And if you have any information on a cold case, you can call Crime Stoppers. We'll have that information on our website. In Winston-Salem, I'm Joshua Davis for WXII 12 News.